Okay, preload time. Okay, assuming that it's we've uh, we've got a location soft pin, and we lift up one leg, lift up another leg. I prefer to go one leg, then the, the diagonal leg, another leg, diagonal leg until everybody's happy. We don't want them splayed out this way, splayed out this way. If there's current, if there's anything. When you first soft pin, no telling what's exactly we want to make sure because that's going to help us keep the leg in the towel. Then we come up to one, 1.5 meter, whatever your procedure, I don't care. It's time for preload. We've, we've penetrated through the soft stuff, whatever we have, and we're kind of happy. The very first thing we do is we trim, we trim the vessel to the middle before we do anything else. Vessel too. After you soft pin, after you stomp, after you get everything in, you trim the vessel. To the middle. To the middle. Next thing you do is trim the load. You don't just go stuck crazy with preload. Trim this thing as much as possible and keep the vessel trim. This is where it's really important. More than anything. Try to get everybody tight. Planometer, vessel's flat, load's flat, everything's flat, stomp's done. You may have a little bit more penetration as you sit there and get ready. Just keep until you're happy. We're not preloaded, this is pre-preloading, okay? Now it's time to preload, and you have on this boat what we call a preload assistance program. Now, some things have to come into play. You, you flick the preload switch and you pick which leg you wanna do, and if you do not have system ready, you'll get this banner that says, uh -uh, cannot do this unless all four legs are happy. Okay, simple. So you go back and you get everybody happy. At that point, she will shift into preload mode and the screen changes into a few things. Warning, preload mode. We talked about that earlier today. If you are attempting to preload legs SA and PF, that's this one and this one. In case you're confused or it's the middle of the night or you're tired, it reminds you this is the leg going up and this is the leg going up. These guys are not moving. Is that clear? Some people get confused, including me. You are attempting to preload this leg and this leg. Those are the guys that are going to squish down as we lift these two up. But anyway, at some point you have a preload calculation somewhere when you are about to preload. You know what you want to preload the legs to be. Those values are entered here. This box, when you press it, it will pop up, the little number thing, and it will also remind you of a little pop-up over here that tells you the limits. Right now, the limit is 1,000 metric tons to 1,750 metric tons. Okay. So you put wherever you want it to be. Sometimes, you put different numbers in, depending on your, your, your load. We're using much less numbers. You put, you put in whatever you want. Okay. Then, at this point, once they're done, only the synchro stick is active. The regular sticks, no good. And nothing you put. The synchro stick, no matter which way you go with the synchro stick, it goes the correct way. Only there's one thing. So when that happens, these guys start coming up. And only these guys brakes release, and these values begin to climb. First guy to reach the set stops the whole thing because of the diagonal, right? Sometimes I'll do it again just to kind of give it a happy thing because it resets after about seven seconds. Then you wait. So at this point, this guy might be 18, this guy might be 17, whatever, and they start to come down as the, the legs begin to penetrate. These guys go way down to some maybe one or 200 and they start to come up. You watch, in the very beginning, the first, the first go around, it's, it, it goes up pretty quickly because it's penetrating into the softest part. <coughs> and when they stop moving, I, mean, I, I, I don't know what your procedure is, but I usually wait about five or 10 minutes and they stop. Then we flick the switch and now the leg up, we see, we talked about this earlier. We go here, and we, we the numbers are still in the setting. Do it again until 
preload limit is reached, and now these numbers are high, and they start coming down because they're pushing. Keep doing it, doing it, and within one hour's time, they don't move anymore. Then you trim your loads, trim your vessel, go to work. It's finished. So that's what this page is all about. And that's the end of preload. Okay. This training and other videos on this channel are produced to educate the crew and all involved personnel. Feel free to use them in your training sessions.